into this world knowing only life. Yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have felt, whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Welcome. We have come to investigate a place where the neighbours never complain about each other. Opened in July of 1879, this is one of Liverpool's most haunted graveyards. But why would a cemetery be haunted, you ask? Perhaps there are lost souls wandering around the gravestones looking for loved ones. Or maybe they just have nowhere else to go. During the First World War, almost 700 American servicemen died in Liverpool's military hospitals and most of them were buried in Everton Cemetery. The head of Australian Aborigine warrior Yagen was buried in the cemetery in 1964. But after lobbying of British and Australian governments by Noongar tribal representatives, the head was exhumed in 1997. Despite a common grave of 22 infant children having been made over it in intervening years. We are here because of a more sinister creature reportedly haunting the cemetery, a witch. She has been described as a black robed crooked hag and reports of sightings of her go back as far as the 1930s. What is also unusual, witnesses have seen shadowy like children milling around her. Could these be actual children, or more likely, some sort of imp-like creatures ready and willing to do her bidding? I take dogs for a walk. I take them all the way around the path, the black line all the way around to the bottom gate. It's about seven o'clock at night, it's a bit dark especially sort of summertime is better because it's light. But you still walk down there and you, you can sometimes feel as though somebody's walking beside you, especially at dusk. And then sometimes you see shadows going past the, over the road and the dogs will suddenly stop. And sometimes they'll, they'll look at something and bark and yet I can't see anything there. And so we carry on walking. And one night when it was really late, it, was, it must have been about eight o'clock because it was really dark. And I was late taking them out. We walked down the road and we stayed to the road. We didn't go on any other little paths because it was really eerie. And there was a faint light in front of me and I could have sworn I just stopped because 
I could have sworn I saw two children walking down in front of me and the dogs were on a long lead and they ran down and then they suddenly stopped and ran back to me and then this light just sort of vanished and I carried on walking and there was nobody there. There was no children laughing or joking or anything. It was just, you saw these two little, and they had long dresses on. And I remember one of them had a bow in the hair. You couldn't see the color or anything. It was just long clothes, like old fashioned clothes. There was one time I was walking down. And we changed the route and we walked around a different way. And they were running ahead of me like they always do. Everywhere was sort of quiet just hear the traffic going along the main road. And then all of a sudden, I heard my name being called. So I stopped and I looked round. And I thought, oh, who's that? Nobody knows me round here. And I listened. And I thought I heard it again, but fainter. And even the dogs turned round and ran back to me and wagging their tails. And I thought, who could that be? And I said, hello, who's that? Who's there? Who's that? Who's there? I heard so well, a whispered voice just behind me saying, John. And then, well, that was me done for the night. <laughs> Would we encounter any of the same paranormal activity that Trish had encountered? We sent our report to guest expert investigator Mike in Louisiana to hear his thoughts on what the cause of the activity at the cemetery could be. One of the things we need to kind of keep in mind about cemeteries is that they're final resting places for people. You know, the dead are brought here so they get to rest. Sometimes, like in Liverpool, uh, construction, road grading and things, cemeteries have to be moved. And Everton is no exception. And this has led to the great possibility that a lot of people there from those other cemeteries may not be at rest anymore. Uh, but let's talk about what's normal and what's not normal. Obviously being in such a big cemetery as Everton with its many different sections They could kind of let your imagination run away and uh, Between you and me these places are kind of spooky one thing to keep in mind is that With shadows you have to remember that at night especially at night or close to the evening uh, moonlight can dance among the tombstones and the monuments um, as it's filtered through trees and, and the like. You also have vehicles in the distance. Just keep in mind that while your mind may be playing tricks on you or you're, you're getting really scared because you're standing among 54,000 dead people that are all supposed to be resting. Uh, in fact, the, the, the shadows among the tombstones, probably not too much to worry about. However, you never know. Second thing to keep in mind, sound. The sound of uh, anything, chimes, bells. Keep in mind that if you even have the slightest breeze, sound can travel for miles, miles. Uh, say somebody put up little wind chimes. They may have put it on a marker. And, you know, it's little tiny breezes making those go. You're a mile away, half mile away. Um, well, in your case, here in the UK, uh, one or two kilometers away. And that sound is gonna travel. There's nothing to interfere with its its frequencies moving across those, those vast uh, cemeteries. So the sounds of little animals uh, in trees and burrowing in the grass, weeds, stuff, uh, those sounds can travel and it may take your imagination wildly away. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're being haunted. Ghost dimension. Tonight we investigate Everton Cemetery 
believed to be haunted by a witch and ghostly children. But will we encounter them as we delve deeper into the most haunted areas of the graveyard? Okay, let's do it. Let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can get any activity and see if we can get, make contact with these witches. Or maybe the children. No way. Seriously? No yeah, we're way. ready, we're ready. We're just actually getting some activity right now. Yeah, so we touch torches. Wow. Coming on out. Wow, well, we've, we've already, before we even rolled, we see, well, we started rolling and then straight away the REM has started to alarm. Go crazy. Come on. That sounds good for the night. Good luck. Okay, let's reset that. Let's get going. Right, do you want to have this no, no way. way. I walk next to it and it goes off. I heard that, yeah. Right, okay, stick that ovulus on. And, uh, cause the, they might be able to communicate through that. Okay. Right, it's dictionary it's mode. Sean's just putting his camera on. And then we're good to go. Wow. So on a, a very cold December night, there's some bod out selling ice creams. I mean, how crazy is that? Yeah, and whoever's with us agrees with that because the touch torch is on. Thank you for that. Brilliant, thank you. There's other devices that you can use. We have a couple of items on some graves here and one in between the tree. If you'd like to touch any of these items, you'll make them go off, make a noise. My name's Paul. Hi, my name's Jane. We're trying to make contact with anybody that's here. But if there's also a witch that's here for some reason. Or any children. Are there any children here? Are there any children here? There's some devices. If you come along and touch them, they'll make a sound, but they won't harm you. We have REM pod activity already down there. Um, the ovulus is on, but it's not said anything yet. Should we get started? We shall. I've got the K2 here as well, so I'm going to get that on. We had the activity just here, just by this REM pod. So it'll be interesting to see if we, if we get K, K2 meter activity. No, nothing. That's weird, isn't it? Mm, very weird. Um, should we go deeper in? Yeah. Marker. Marker. Okay, that's weird. Mm. Let's do, let's go deeper in. Okay. So as you can see, that is pitch black. You watch, watch this. That's pitch black. That's what we're dealing with. That's mental. So we've have to put a light on just so you guys can see something. Cause uh, very dark, cold, and a bit damp very very cold and it's that cold that the ground is freezing isn't it yeah the cameras are misting up as we speak um, is there anyone here if the person that was here before that was setting off the REM pod by the tree if you can come forward maybe alarm that again alarm the REM pod at the tree or just maybe follow us up from the car. No way. Sounds like somebody's by the car. Should we go back to the car then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Maybe they draw on us back to the car for some reason. Is this where you want us to be? Maybe it's this owner. With this, I heard that, like clunking chains. That was weird, that was clunking chains, wasn't it? What was that? That was like clunking chains. This here, this, this grave that you're looking at, that actually 
is um, that's um, moved its remains that have moved here from another cemetery so actually that could actually be quite by the base of it be quite powerful for activity so maybe we should take a, a K2 and check it mm. Talk to us. Torch, torch again. Thank you. Can you use this device to answer some questions for us? Turn it off if you're happy to answer some questions. Thank you. Are you a, a woman? A female? What was that? It's like a cackling sound. Yeah. Did you hear it? Paul and Jane heard and caught the following sound on camera audio, which at the time did not sound natural, but upon further investigation, we believe it could have been birds disturbed in the trees. Turn it off if you're happy to answer some questions. Thank you. Are you a, a woman? A female? What was that? Although the sound may have been natural, it was clear something intelligent was communicating with them via the torch. But who was it? And would they make themselves known as the investigation continues? Can you come and touch that torch again for us? If you're a child, can you come and touch the torch? Touch that torch again for us, please. Make it come on. Or any of the other devices. If you can see the boxes with the metal sticks coming out of them, all you need to do is touch those metal sticks and make them light up and make a noise. Can you do that for us, please? Make right, touch torch again. Thank you. you. Thank you very much. We've also got a K2. As well. Turn it off, thank you. If there's anybody here who would like to communicate with us, maybe there's some children here, maybe there's witches or a witch, maybe you're not nasty, maybe you're nice. Come and speak to us. What? I just saw shadow moving in between no. this line here on the camera something moved across there on the camera i've just heard a massive bang i did just over there can you do that again if that was you can you make contact and come forward do you hear that big bang yeah yeah that was from behind you that was from that behind was me from behind you mm -hmm. <clears throat> Is are you trying to affect the meter on the floor? Can you affect it again? What if we just separate just a little bit? Are you stay there. I'll stay here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you affect the meter? <coughs> Do you just want Sean on his own? There's somebody behind us there. Did you hear? Did you hear that? Hey. Like a rustling of yeah. like leaves. Yeah, 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 yeah. As we separated in an attempt to attract more spirit activity, Sean could see something mysterious in the shadows. And as he tries to capture it on camera, rustling in the leaves could be heard. Do you just want Sean on his own? Was this activity caused by the same shadow entities that Trish had mentioned earlier? Sometimes you see shadows going past the, over the road and the dogs will suddenly stop. And sometimes they'll, they'll look at something and bark and yet 
I can't see anything there. Are these shadow figures that are being witnessed innocent spirits or something more sinister? Tonight, our investigation of Everton Cemetery was in full swing, and already it would seem that we are not alone. But as we delve deeper into the darkness of the night, would we come face to face with the cause of this activity? I must say, this cemetery is the piece, isn't it? it you know, it's, it's on point, isn't it? Yeah, and there's something it just, here. And you can feel it around you. What was that? Hello? I'm thinking it's living. Hello? Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down there. That was, that yeah. was right down the bottom there. Yeah, it was. That was somebody, that was. Hello? Can anybody make a response to us? Can you speak to us on the ovulus? Nothing on the K2. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was weird, man. That was no witch, that wasn't. That was a... That was really weird. Torch, torch again, thank you. You like that, don't you? That's really good. There's actually some other devices around. We have a K2 down here. We oh, also have two oh, REM oh, pods. Oh. But you like the I touch. I just switch. heard what sounded like footsteps walking up on me. If you Seriously? look on the floor, there's uh, lots of leaves on the floor and it actually sounded like somebody's walking through the leaves towards me then. I hope the audio picked that up but it sounded, well, like I'm walking now, but I'd stood still and it sounded like somebody was walking up this way. Oh. Uh, continue to come towards me if you wish. Did you see I that? I did, it's starting again. Yeah, look, look, look. Is oh there somebody God. here? Right here? Can you come and come closer to us and take this light all the way to red? Come closer to us. Did you hear that? That sounded yeah. like a scream. And this is going mental. As the K2 meter was reacting to something around us, we caught the following screeching sound. Come closer to us. Did you hear that? There was no external influence to debunk this sound and its source appeared to come from within the cemetery. So perhaps we had just heard the first manifestation of a spirit attempting to communicate verbally with us. Wow. Should we go a bit further? Yeah. Because we've lost the um, we've lost the activity on the meter, so let's let's try and trace it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. What? You got another bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. We just go here. Are you a witch? Can you light this oh, right up? Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. What is it? It's going right off. Oh, the meter, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going right by this tree, look. Look. What was really weird then... Stopped. ...was my ovulus. Really funny. Really, really funny. I had to turn it off and on again. So we've got this crazy activity in mid-air. And the ovulus is going a bit... Wacky. Caca. Are you a witch? Oh, look at that. That's take, going off. Take this right up to red if you are here as a witch. I don't mean a dark witch, maybe a light witch. Yeah, maybe it was a white witch. A white witch. It could have been. Or is this children? No way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you hear the kids? Yeah, There yeah, was yeah. kids that, in that direction. Look, Bex, this is, this to me is witchcraft. It's been pra it's there's somebody here. We've got the wicked weird noises and this is in midair. It's weird. Feels like somebody's beside me. No one there. Once again.
once again as the K2 meter started to react. We got the following disembodied voice, which on the replay sounded like the spirit said, Do you want to play? It could have been. Was this children? No way. It could have been. It could have been. Was this the same entity that had made a screeching noise earlier? And as the spirit appears to ask us if we would like to play, perhaps it could be connected to the spirit Trish had seen in the cemetery. If so, are we about to witness a full spirit manifestation as the entity draws even closer to us? That's not English, that sounded sort of... Yeah. You know, Scandinavian or something. The owner. Are you the woman that's been seen and thought of as being a witch? Talk to us, Yona. Sure. I'm out. My God. Wow. I'm out. My God. There's a male coming. Who's coming? Wow. I'm John. Yeah. yeah. I'm wow. John. Hello, Hi, John. John. Who's that? Who's that? We. I'm Paul. Hi, I'm Jane. Paul and Jane had just received communication and a spirit identifies as John. Interestingly, Trish had spoken of her ordeal in the cemetery where she had also heard the name John whispered in her ear. Wow. I'm John. Yeah. yeah. I'm wow. John. Hello, Hi, John. John. I heard so of a, a whispered voice just behind me Signed John, and then, well, that was me down for the night. <laughs> the evidence caught, in our opinion, validates Trisha's experience, and Paul and Jane had just made contact with the same entity. We're talking to you. Can you help and talk back to us? Are you here with us now? That was really clear, wasn't it? It was very clear. Very clear. Very clear. John, if it's you, turn that torch on for us, please. Andy. He's stuck. Andy. Mm -hmm. It's not like Andy. Can you tell us how many are here with us? Stabbed him. Oh, Don't die. Wow. Oh, it's coming close to you. Look. Look at that. She's going to do a close up on the K2. Look at that. That's mental. We are here with no explanation as to why in midair. That the K2 is going up exactly. It's happening. We're yeah. in a we're in an open place in a cemetery. Step away. Did you Step hear away. That? No, did you hear that? What was that? It's like a mm. spirits. No way. Spirits. Let me take a look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Spirits. Right, now let me tell you what I've just heard. You said. What did you say? And then I heard footsteps. And a child. I don't know what it was saying, but I heard a child <gasps> behind you. No. That way. Ghost dimension. Our investigation of Everton Cemetery was becoming one of our most memorable. And as we continue delving even deeper, will we uncover who these entities are? And most of all, would we encounter any witches or childlike figures? 
Okay, we've come to the trees where the children have been reported to have been seen and what we've done is set up some equipment. So I'll zoom in if I can on this. We've got a, um, over there, which is hard to see actually. We've got a ram over here. Oh, we've got another ram, which is vanished off camera. There it is. And then just in between this tree, we've got a torch, which can be, whoa, no way, no way. What? The torch is lighting oh, I see up. I see it, I see it. You see that then? I'm talking about the torch and it's lighting up. We've got somebody here with us. Are you a child? Can you light the torch if you're a child? If you touch the torch, it will light up. No way, let's go over to it. Let's go a bit closer. Yeah, okay. We've also got an EVP recorder, which is currently being recorded in the cemetery. And we have an ovulus in Sean's hand. It's in my pocket, because if, if it makes any words on... Oh, he's... What? what? What the hell? It's going off. It's right there, I've got it. It's blurred. Just take a bit of your light off. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's there. We can, I've got it now, I think. Oh man. Can you see it then? Did you see that? Wow, that's really bright, Bex. That's really bright. I'm just losing focus, though. I've got it. You got it? Yeah. Can you touch it again? You got it or have I got it? I've got but you on that. Okay. Okay, so we were just uh, making our way across the, the cemetery to go to a different area and as we've just approached here, you can see this tree, see this area. Um, it's pretty open, yet we heard running. Heard uh, the sound of footsteps running through the leaves and there is nobody here so we've decided to stop for a few minutes and see if we can do a bit of calling out uh, we've put a couple of rems out clear morning yeah clear like a morning sound yeah I just heard that I don't know if the audio's got it If somebody's running around, can you run to the bags that are on the floor? Put a couple of rems out, because it was this area that we heard the running. So we're just going to see if anything runs between them and sets them off. If this is a child, we are not here to harm you or scare you or anything like that. We just want to make contact and speak to you. Is this a child? Did you hear that? Somebody went, yes! Yeah, 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 like, and, whoa. Oh my God. Are you on that? I'm on that. It wow. went a little bit blurred when you turned round. Yeah. But I got it. So this is a wow. child. Thank you. Oh, the, the goosebumps on my neck. I know, same with me. Listen. On the floor we've got a, another lighting machine, another lighting device. If you walk towards it, it will al alarm and it's got coloured lights on it and it flashes so beautifully. Can you walk towards one of them? My name's Sean and this is Bex. And we are just wanting to communicate with you. Maybe with you being female, yeah. it would like to communicate more with you. Ask a question. Shall I come near you? Do you want me to come near you? Are you here now with me? Do you want to play a game? Is there a witch here? Yeah, 
Yeah, I just saw that glimpse for a second. I thought it was a, a child or something low down. Uh, he's playing tricks on me. Uh, I can hear Jane off in the distance calling for something to come and talk to her. Hopefully she's having something happen. You feel like somebody's behind you all the time. There's cemetery right now. It's cold. It's dark. It's very freaky. And Paul's gone off. And left me on my own. Can you touch these lights on the floor? The blue lights? Country. Country. I mean, that's a, that's a country. <coughs> Maybe this, I mean, I'm throwing it right out there, Bex. Maybe it's not somebody of this country. I thought that. First instinct, I thought that. French. Is that what you thought? Yeah. Oh. Were you French? Bonjour. No way. What? That light just lit up when I said bonjour. Really? Seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch, I'm trying to get it again. Yeah? I think I got it, but I'm not sure. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Bonjour. Try Spanish. I know, I'm thinking this is totally French. Okay, yeah, it's about. Oh, look, look, look. That just lit up. Wow. No way. So you're French? Yes. What the hell? Are you catching that? Mm hmm. You're catching that out? I'm going to film us. So you're French? Did you wish you brought here? <coughs> Did you die in Liverpool? Oh, eerie place, eerie, eerie place. I might wave back to Jane, I think we'll try an SB7. See if we can get anybody talking to us through that. Coming back to you, Jane. Are you a girl? Bonjour. Ça va? Mercy. Oh my Whoa, God! Oh no way! No way! Ask another question. I think this is a French question. Um. Okay, I'll ask. Oh look, look! It knows I'm gonna. It knows. That thing knows I'm gonna ask a question. That is freaking weird. Um. Come and sp speak to us, man. Come and tapple too. Oh, well, you know, I never. I apologise that I didn't focus on my French in school. Come and tapple too. Mercy, Beku. I got it. Let's count. Mm -hmm. Okay, you count. I'm gonna count. Yeah. If you can understand what we're saying, I'm going to count in French and then light up if you can. Don't, yeah, um, how old you are. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, sept, sept. Yeah. Seat. Seat. Or is that German? Seat, seven, no way. No way, you're pointing at that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Seven. No way. And it's still going? Yeah. No way. So you were seven years old when you died? Oh, it's gone off for me. Seven. Huh? <gasps> seven. And you're a boy, yes? Yes? We? 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 No. Oh. 
or can you talk to us all through this? We'll take anything that you've got. Why don't we ask to see if John's with us? John, are you with us? Yes. Wow. Yes. yes. Wow. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you for following us, John. Do you need help? John, is there a witch in this graveyard? Are you with us still, John? You got that, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That okay. is next so, to the tree. Yes. So he's gained your trust. And it, and it, you, are you flashing at that? I've got the light. The light just went on again. So the boy's gained your trust enough to move away from where he feels safe enough by the tree. And he's just triggered off the object on the floor, the REM pod, like we asked him to. We moved away. Yeah. And he followed. A seven Bless year old boy. Him. This is crazy stuff. Are you trapped here? Do you not want to be trapped here? Step away, if you can, if you can understand what we are saying. Please step back. Step away from the meter, there's no reason for that to go there's off. There's no reason There has to be paranormal, that. Yeah, that is paranormal evidence. Well, we thought that was a boy, and the thing went off. Can you walk towards the other one we've got on the floor over there? I know you walk towards that one and you're alarming it. There's another one on the floor. Please walk towards it. Oh. Oh, it's a fruit tree. It's a tree. <coughs> it's a tree. There's the moon. I tried to get it before behind your head, but you kept moving. Everton Cemetery is home to hundreds of souls that rest here, and we believe we may have encountered some of these kindred spirits tonight. There was no indication of the presence of witches, but we received some of the most powerful paranormal activity we have ever encountered. <laughs>